love Mexican grocery stores. Doesn't that sound delicious? <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Kind of funny how they're like, yeah, we would drive to Chicago. I don't blame them. Because right. Some of it's really, really, really good. So I'm glad that's there. Yeah. I'm headed up there. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. All right, you guys. We have had such an amazing streak of weather here. Over the last seven days, six of them have been in the 80s, which is perfect. We're supposed to be at a normal high of 81 degrees for this time of year. What happened yesterday? Well, it's okay. We needed a little break. We weren't too far away from it. Apaca hit a high of 78, Green Bay into those middle 70s and Appleton coming in at 72. So now this morning we're waking up to some cooler temperatures around the Great Lakes into the low to upper 60s. While well, that heat stays to the south, we're seeing some cold air creeping in through the Northwoods, 52 into Pembine this morning, and then along the lake shore, 56 into Sturgeon Bay. So dew points comfortable here this morning. My hair's not frizzing out too, too bad just yet, but it's going to. If you are off into Wapaka, Watoma, Shawano, you're starting to feel a little muggy, a little stickiness creeping in, and it's going to get worse. Right now, the winds are not moving. Wait until they pick up out of the south this afternoon and evening. That's what's going to filter in some dew points into the upper 60s to low 70s. So that, of course, is going to be feeling quite uncomfortable to oppressive as we head through this afternoon. Plus, you put some mid 80s on top of it. Yeah, it's going to be a hot one. Sunshine expected for a majority of the day. Just a few clouds trying to roll in, blocking the sunshine on occasion, but no big deal. The big deal is down to the southwest, just north of Kansas City. Some strong, severe storms ongoing there, some flooding rains running over the same areas, riding right along that hot and humid air mass with that excessive heat warning still in effect. So severe storms well to the south. We are expecting a potential for a few thunderstorms to roll into our area tonight. Speaking of thunderstorms, let's take it back to June 15th, that severe weather outbreak. Now, the National Weather Service has issued a 10th tornado that actually touched down. They've been out there surveying the damage for quite a while now. So wild, wild day. We're not looking at any tornadoes headed our way, I promise you. We're going to have some heat, humidity, and a little tiny storm chance as we head through this evening. So we're not even going to see that arrive until after 9 o'clock, mostly sunny skies. Here we are. There's that front trying to sink on down. This is 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. It's barely firing up any storms on this future cast, but the potential is there. There. It could happen anywhere. Few of us will see them. Some of us won't. And look what we have for Friday. Just a mix of sun and clouds as a high pressure settles in, clears our skies. It dominates the rest of our weekend. So the only shot of rain throughout the weekend is tonight. Where we could get a trace to about a half an inch potentially. After that, though, cruising into the middle of July, we're looking below average on our precipitation outlook. Good morning, Appleton. Looks beautiful out there. 63 degrees as we look outside into Green Bay. We're matching your temperature as well. Sunset at 839 tonight. Temperatures climbing to those low to mid 80s. We'll cool off to the low 60s with a few showers and storms. And then the winds pick up and we're going to see it out of the north. So much cooler day tomorrow with highs in those low to mid 70s. We do the same thing on Saturday. Just a few degrees warmer. Abundant sunshine there for you. A little bit warmer on Sunday. Just a fantastic weekend. Nothing but nothing else you could really ask for all of the rain and showers heat and humidity and blah hangs off until next week yeah. while we're at work in the AC or something, right? Right. That sounds <laughs> amazing. It sounds like the perfect weather this weekend. I'm Absolutely. so excited. Me too. Thanks, Brittany.